Okay. So we have this term. It's a past paper question of May June twenty twenty two. The recent past paper, paper number thirty three. Mm hmm. We have the uh, two products, product S and product P. Hey. Can you please read the question? Uh, T Limited produces two products and product S and product P. The budget information for the two products for the next year is as follows. Product, uh, product and sales, like material, material price, direct labor and direct labor rate. But budget, yeah, budgeted annual factory overheads are four sixty five thousand. The directors are direct. The directors use direct labor hours as the basis of apportioning factory overheads. Markup for both prices fifty percent. Prepare what a statement. Prepare. Hmm. What do they want us to prepare? Uh, we have to find the selling price for each product. Okay, they want us to make a statement so that we can find the selling price for each product, mm -hmm. and the statement should also show the cost per unit for each product. How will we prepare? We we'll find the cost per unit. No, we want it per unit wise, na. So we will make everything per unit wise. Mm -hmm. So if I have to make, I have two products. I have mm -hmm. product S and I have product P. Mm -hmm. Selling price I want and it should ensure that it is showing me the cost per unit. Yeah. So let me first just write down what would be there in the details column. Can you tell me what will be there in the de details column? Direct machine. Direct material. Second would be? Direct labor. Third would be factory overheads. Then what will I get? We get direct. I will no, get total, total costs. Cost. Mm -hmm. Then what will I add? Markup. Mm -hmm. Then I will get the selling price. Yeah. Okay, fine. Can you give me the direct material per unit cost? Direct material per unit is one. Yes. Direct material per unit mm -hmm. will do one into eight mm -hmm. into twenty four thousand. But I want per unit, no? Oh, so we'll do eight, eight and eight point five, I guess. One into eight. Yeah. And over here it will be seventeen. Hmm. Direct labor per unit. Direct labor per unit is four into fifteen and six into eighteen. Mm -hmm. Factory overheads. What are they saying for factory overheads? Factory overheads, uh it will be four sixty five thousand. But factory overheads are absorbed on what basis? Factory overheads are direct labor hours. It is absorbed on the basis of direct labor hours. That means I need to find the total direct labor hours. Uh -huh. hmm? What yeah. is my total direct labor hours? For product P, I need 4 hours per unit. Uh -huh. For product P, I need four hours per unit, and I'm going to make twenty four thousand units. Yes. Yeah. And for sorry, product S, and for product P, how many labor hours per unit? Six. And I'm going to make how many units? You're going to make fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand units. So, my direct labor hours for product S is how much? Ninety-six thousand. How much? Ninety-six thousand. Yeah. And my direct labor hours for product P is how much? Mm, Ninety thousand. Ninety thousand. Now factory overheads are absorbed on the basis of direct labor hours. Yeah. That means you have to find the OAR per labor hour, right? Mm -hmm. How will you find it? We'll take budgeted act. Over 
होता है डिवाइडेड बाय दी एक्टिविटी लेवल व्हाट इज द एक्टिविटी लेवल द लेबर आवर्स व्हाट इज माय बजेटेड ओवरहेड बजेटेड ओवरहेड इज 465 व्हाट इज माय बजेटेड लेबर आवर्स बजेटेड लेबर आवर्स इज 96 प्लस 90 How much it becomes? One eighty six. So what will be my overhead absorption rate? Two point five. Hmm. It will be dollar two point five per labor hour. Hmm. But I am. I want to find the factory overheads per unit. Hmm. So for product test, what will I do? Product test, I will do this. Yeah. And product P, what will I do? Yeah. Uh mm huh. -hmm. So come on, tell me the factory overhead for product S. Um, we do two point five into four. Hmm. So it's coming up to how much? Then, and for product P, we will do two point five into six. Fifteen. Hmm. Now calculate the total cost per unit. Seventy-eight and one forty. Markup is how much? Markup is fifty percent. Fifty percent on the cost. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Thirty nine and eight seventy. So what is the selling price per unit? Selling price is seventy eight plus one thirty nine seventeen two hundred. See if you are satisfying the requirement of the question. Yeah. What is the requirement of the question? I want the selling price per unit. I have able to find out the selling price per unit. They want me to show the total cost per unit for each product. I am also able to find the total cost per unit of each product. <laughs> yeah. Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. Come on, next. Let's go. To the B part. What is the B part telling? What is meant by the term activity based costing? What is meant by the term activity based costing? Three marks, so you have to give three points. First point: What does activity based costing do? It assigns the cost to the product based on the activities that consume the resources, or based on the resources, right? Okay. Yeah. Activity-based costing. What does it do? Assigns the assigns costs to products. Based on the drivers, or I could say based on the activities mm -hmm. that consume the resources. Can you please repeat it? Assigns the cost to products based on the drivers that consume resources. Again. It assigns the cost to products based on the drivers that consume resources. What does activity-based costing do? It assigns the cost to products based on the drivers that consume resources. Again. It assigns the cost to products based on the drivers that consume resources. Okay, so the activities are basically the cost pool. Uh huh. So activities are used as. Cost pool, 
एंड कॉस्ट आर एलोकेटेड टू प्रोडक्ट्स यूजिंग अ कॉस्ट ड्राइवर and then you can write uh, something from top because we need three points right yeah so the cost driver is the activity that results in the specific cost being incurred the cost driver is the activity which results in specific cost being incurred three points you have to give for three marks mm -hmm. come on tell me what is meant by activity based costing it assigns the cost of products based on the drivers that consume resources the mm -hmm. uh, are used as cost pools and cash are allocated to products cost using cost are allocated yeah using a cost driver the cost driver is what cost driver are the activity which directly results to specific cost being incurred okay very good we we'll learn this this later, later okay? You write this 10 times later to do it. Now let's do do? do over here. What do they want us to do? Prepare a statement to calculate the selling price per unit. I have to calculate what? Selling, selling price, price per price. for each product. That means I have two products. One yeah. will be the product test and one will be the product P. How? by using abc costing that means mm -hmm. i will have to find the cost pool cost mm -hmm. driver and mm -hmm. have the cost driver rate right mm -hmm. and show separately the total cost you will also have to show the total cost and you mm -hmm. will have to show the cost per unit for each product mm -hmm. are you with me yeah so when i am doing activity based costing my first thing is i have to find the cost pool and the cost driver associated to it hmm. tell me what is the cost pool cost pool is 120000 162000 no what, what 465000 120 no this is the total yeah. pool but in activity based costing i don't use one rate right hmm. i will divide the overheads into different things yeah, purchase purchasing material machine so running what is the cost driver associated to it Purchase orders. Okay. What is my second cost pool? Machine running. Cost driver associated to Machine it? Machine orders. What is my third cost pool? Inspecting. Sorry? Inspecting. A In machine setup. Machine setup. What is the cost driver associated to it? The machine setups. What is my fourth cost pool? Inspecting. And inspecting hours. So, mm -hmm. did I find the cost pool and the cost uh, driver? Mm -hmm. Next thing that I have to do is I have to find the cost driver rate. Mm -hmm. Can I find the cost driver rate? Yeah. Let me do the total of all this. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do it in your book along with me, huh? page 136. So what is the total of the cost driver for purchasing order? 30. 24 plus 8 is how much? Oh, 32. Over here? 56,000. 54,000. 48. And 500. 500. Yeah. Now when you're finding the cost driver rate, what will you do? Cost driver rate, we will uh, we will do cost pool divided by cost driver. So one twenty thousand divided by thirty two. Thirty two, yeah. We get three seven five zero. Okay. One sixty two thousand divided by fifty four thousand. Mm. 
three. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Next. उट फॉर एवरीथिंग ओके प्रोडक्ट एस एंड प्रोडक्ट पी Let's do with the direct material cost. What is the direct material cost? The direct material cost is eight and seventeen, and direct labor is eight, sixty and one hundred and eight. Yeah. So I will first do overheads. Is that fine? Why yeah. do with direct material? Now let's do with direct material. Come on. Direct material, and I have direct labor. For one, it was eight, and for second, it was how much? Eight for second, seventeen. So it will be eight into twenty-four thousand, right? Yeah. And for the second one, it will be. Second one, it will be. Seventeen into fifteen thousand. Seventeen into fifteen thousand. How much is eight into twenty four thousand? One ninety two thousand. And uh, for P? For P, it is seventeen into fifteen thousand. Yeah, two thousand two twenty two hundred and fifty five hundred. And let's find for direct labor. It will be sixty into twenty four thousand. One million four forty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. And for product P one hundred and eight into fifteen thousand. Yeah. How much? One six one point six two million. One million six twenty thousand. So I just calculated above direct material for product X is one ninety two thousand and direct labor is one million four forty thousand, right? Yeah. Direct material for product P is two fifty five thousand and it's one million six twenty. Uh. Mm. Now we are finding the overheads, okay, for purchasing material. What will you do? We found out the cost driver right over here, right? Yeah. So it will be three seven five zero into twenty four. Yeah. How much will it be? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ninety thousand. And for product B, it will be three seven five zero into, into eight. Thirty thousand. How much? Thirty thousand. Let's go to the next one. Machine running. Three into thirty-six thousand. Hundred and eight thousand. And eighteen thousand into three. You got fifty-four thousand. This is hundred and eight thousand, and this will become how much? Fifty-four thousand. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. Machine setup. So it will be fifteen hundred into forty, mm -hmm. and it will be fifteen hundred into eight. Sixty thousand. Hmm. 
And for inspecting. Inspecting. Should be two, two, two into four into two, two, two into four. Eighty eight 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 zero zero. Thirty eighty eight eight hundred. Yeah. And twenty two 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 zero zero. Okay. Now I will get my total costs. Mm -hmm. Add all of this. One million nine seventy eight thousand eight hundred. Are you getting this? Yeah. And for next one, the next one, one nine nine three two hundred. One nine nine three two hundred. You're getting one nine nine, nine three two hundred. Three two hundred. So you got the total cost, you will divide it by the number of units. Yeah. So you will get the cost per unit. Per product fee, it is one thirty two point eight eight. Mm -hmm. Per product fee, it is one thirty two point eight eight. Okay. And for product is? It is 82.45. 82.45. What is the markup? The markup is 50. Mm -hmm. so 82.45. Yeah. So cost per unit and markup, you're getting the selling price. They wanted yeah. the total cost, I got the total cost. They wanted uh, the cost per unit, I got the cost per unit. They wanted the selling price per unit, I got the selling price per unit. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. Did I give them all what they wanted? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next part. Advice. Advise the directors whether or not they should apply activity-based costing. Support your answers with reference to A and C. Okay, let's take reference to A and let's take reference to C. What is my reference to A? This is my reference to A. Are you with me? Yeah. And this is my reference to C. Reference to A was absorption costing, right? Mm -hmm. So as per absorption costing, my total cost per unit was coming up to 78,140. Mm -hmm. And as per um, this costing, ABC costing, my total cost per unit is coming up to 82.45 for product S yeah. and product E, 132.88. No. Okay. As per absorption costing, my selling price is coming this. Mm. And for ABC costing, my selling price is coming this. Yeah. Now, the question is, advise the directors whether they should adopt activity-based costing or not. Mm. 
what will happen if they adopt activity based costing it is more realistic okay so i'll write first over here abc provides more accurate and more realistic cost information hmm Okay. Before I did ABC costing. Before ABC costing. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Cost per unit. For product A, for product S. Was showing lower. Yeah. However, the overhead that is absorbed by product S is more. Mm -hmm. However, as per ABC, however, as per ABC costing, yeah, cost per unit of product S is more. Mm. Why? Because overheads of product S, because overheads used in product S is more. Mm -hmm. How much it is? Eighty two point four five minus seventy eight. How much uh, overheads of product S is used for? Mm. Four point four five. Yeah. 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 So, also, as per absorption costing, the selling price of product S is less. Yeah. Right. This okay. As product S is less. But based on overheads consumed, on overheads consumed by product S, mm -hmm. the selling price should be more. Cost of product S is more. Overhead yeah. cost of product X is mm -hmm. more. So selling yeah. price should be more. Mm. And for product P, what will you write for product P? P. What will you write for product P? Compare cost as per ABC with cost as per absorption. Tell me, dear. Cost as per absorption for product P is how much? Cost as per absorption is. One forty. It's right in front of you. One forty. And cost as per ABC is. One thirty-two point eight eight. So, and for product P, what is happening? Product P. The cost, cost is high. Cost as per absorption is more. Yeah. Resulting in higher selling price. Yeah. But in actual. Mm -hmm. Cost of product P is less. Then you can give a little bit of analysis. If higher selling price is set for product P, what will happen? Higher. 
if you set a higher selling price the product p using absorption then what will happen it will uh profits will overstay end up losing customer hmm. and if you set a lower selling price for product as then what will happen lower profit lower sales and setting lower price for product as would lead to more losses so the director should adopt which costing mm -hmm. abc should adopt abc costing to give more accurate costing and selling price figures mm -hmm. you understood right what happened yeah when we use single oar and when we use oar based on cost driver mhm mm sure yeah what did we do over here basically first what did we do over here we did absorption costing here we did absorption no uh, this is abc so what did we do this was our cost pool we found the yeah. cost driver driver yeah we found the cost, cost driver rate driver rates yeah and based on the cost driver rate we apportioned the overheads yeah correct based on the driver that is being used by every overhead right yeah then we found out the cost per unit mm -hmm. then we found out the selling price then we compared abc with absorption costing Mm -hmm. And we advise the directors. Yeah. Okay. What was happening if we were using ABC costing? We will get more accurate results. The uh, costing figures were more accurate, mm -hmm. and th for S the cost was higher. The cost was lower. And no, as per it. absorption, it was showing lower. Yeah. Okay. So S we should have set a higher selling price, but as per absorption, it was showing a lower selling price. Mm -hmm. If we would set lower selling price for S, we may get more customers. Mm. But it was going into losses. Mm. And if we set more selling price for P, but the mm. actual selling price should have been less, then what yeah. would happen? We would lose our customers. Mm -hmm. So we should use which costing? ABC. ABC costing. So this sum is done.